Eric's now 18, in the streets cursing life. Head hung in defeat, wondering how he accumulated so much strife. Talking out of emotions, now forced to swallow his words. Eric sleeps where he can, he's just lucky it wasn't cold. At first it was suffice to live with lovers and friends. Until they figured out he wasn't making any ends. So benches, bus terminals, and garages are where he slept at night. Until the mother of the house ended up finding him late one night. Choosing to go home since all of the plans were exhausted. He sleeps in his own bed not knowing what that had cost it. Back home nothing changed so once again Eric became a hostage in his own house. Every door in the place was bolted or locked. Bars on all the windows, there was no way to get away. So he faked to take the trash out, then made his great escape. Walking aimlessly one night, a bullet flew past his head. Eric thanked God for his luck, but still wondered why he wasn't dead. Crying uncontrollably for block after block. Eric made it to his brother house, where he knew he was safe. He explained his situation, which his brother accepted on faith. And from that day forward, an unbreakable bond had connected. Living rent free, going to school and working hard. Eric's living life, he even has his own car. But that still wasn't enough, he began to rob and steal. Eric's victim number four had a gun card. It's the third time he could have been killed. Victim number eight was his biggest mistake. Police set up a sting and locked Eric away. Now facing 21 to 45, Eric's caught by surprise. Sitting in a cell, every night he cries. Still uncertain of his future, blessed literally, yet never knew.